Hi there. We will learn how to deploy Jogit on Red Hat OpenShift Container Platform. It's as easy as only a few clicks away. Let's go. First, access the OpenShift Web Console and log in with your credentials. Now, we are in the Web Console. Let's create a new project to deploy Jogit. Key in your preferred project name, display name, and description. Now select the project. Alright. Before we deploy Jogit, we shall deploy a database for Jogit first. Click on Add to Project, browse the catalog, and select the MySQL image. Key in the appropriate settings. For namespace, type in OpenShift. For database service name, type in Jogit DB. For both MySQL connection username and password, type in Jogit. For the MySQL database name, type in JWDB. Go ahead and click Create. Alright. Now we are ready to deploy the Jogit image. But before we proceed further, do ensure you have a valid username and password to access the Red Hat Container Catalog. If you do not have an account, you can register an account via the Red Hat Developer Program. Click on Add to Project again, and select Deploy Image. Select the Image Name option and click on Create an Image Pull Secret Link. Key in the following details, and your login details for username, password, and email fields. Once the secret has been created, type this into the image name field, and click on the small search icon to load the image details from the registry. Type in your desired image name, and click deploy. Great work so far. Now, the next step is to add persistent storage to the container for storing configuration files and persistent file uploads. Go to the Applications tab, and click on Deployments. Select the Jogit application, and go to Configuration tab. Scroll down until you find the Volume section and click on Add Storage. Now click on Create Storage. For name, type in Jogit Data. For Access Mode, select Shared Access. For Size, let's allocate 1 GB for now. Do add more if necessary. Now click Create. Now back in the Add Storage page. Select the storage that we have just created, and type in slash opt slash jogit slash wflow into the mount path. Click add. Fantastic. We're almost done. Now, we just have to create a service route to grant us access from an external web browser. Go to the Applications tab, and click on Services. Select the Jogit application. Go to Actions, and then click on Create Route. Type in slash JW into the path field. 
Now click create. And that's it. We are ready to access our Jogit instance. Go back to overview. Next to the application name, we can find a URL here. Click on it to access our Jogit platform. Upon clicking the URL, we will see the usual setup page upon initialization of Jogit. We shall key in the same database settings we set up earlier. Click Save. Hold on while Jogit initializes the database. There we go. We are ready to use Jogit. Go to our blog to keep up with the latest news and updates from us. See you soon.